everybody, it is the Bookworm 21. And we are coming at you with the sixth installment of the Anita Blake series. And it is called The Killing Dance. Okay? Old school cover people. Alright. Well, this is a really important book. A lot of key things happen in this book that really set the tone for the future series. So, if you, if you miss a book, this is the one you can't miss. Um, basically what happens at the start of the book... A ancient vampire named Saban comes to Anita for help, and he has given up blood to please his lover. And the co the reason of that is, it is causing him to basically rot away, and he wants Anita to help him. So she doesn't know if she can. So while she's figuring this out, suddenly assassins start trying to kill Anita. And it happens once, twice, five times at her house, at her job. So she's freaking. What is she going to do? How is she going to find this guy? And in the middle of this, she's got to go to John claudes opening club, the dance with cop. And, of course, it's on national television. So guess what? Her parents see it. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm dating a vampire. Yeah, they're Catholic. They're not too happy. That's the least of Anita's problems right now. So finally, after she's almost murdered in the women's bathroom, she calls in Edward, her friend, and says, Look, you gotta find this guy who's, who's paying these assassins because I just can't do this anymore. So, he says, Fine. You need to go to the Circus of the Dam and stay there and hide out till I find this guy. So she does. For five minutes. Stephen, local werewolf, calls and says, Hey, guess what? I'm being forced to make porn. Help. So her and Richard go there. They fight him off. They save Stephen. And so all of a sudden, Stephen is under Anita's protection. And she protects him and takes care of him. And so she's kind of like uh, a dominant person in the pack. Well, Richard makes her his alpha female. So she's the leader of the freaking world pack now. Well, what happens is, Richard and her want to get married. But Richard says, look, I'm not going to marry until you see me shape, shape, shape shift into a werewolf. Well, before that can happen, she's basically kidnapped by Raina and Marcus. And they all find out that, guess what, Marcus is the one who's paying the assassins. And so... There's this huge werewolf battle, and right in the middle of Richard and Marcus's fight to see who becomes alpha male, Richard shapeshifts right on top of Anita. So it's kind of like rape, and it really messes her up. I mean, it really messes with her head. It's it's disgusting and gross, and she goes to Jean-Claude, and she's like, what am I going to do, and I'm upset. And her and Jean-Claude have sex for the first time. Yeah, it's pretty hot. All I gotta say is, people, I'm not gonna say much. I'm gonna say one word. Bathtub. That's all I gotta say. You'll, you'll know what I mean when you read it. Pretty cool. Anyway, the next day, Richard finds out. Freaks. Totally has a moment of panic and, and you know, totally loses it. And... Then Anita gets kidnapped again. I mean, this is twice in one book. Hello. And it's Richard, it's, it's Raina and, and Marcus and Gabriel, the psycho wear leopard. And they're going to make a porn with Anita in it while Gabriel rapes her and then kills her. So Anita's got to get herself out of this. But what, what is good thing is that a couple pages back, Jean-Claude made her and him and Richard a triumvirate a three-tiered person of power. So they can sense each other, they can gain power, they can give power to each other. So they're all kind of linked in together. So she uses that power, she gets herself free, she kills Gabriel, and she kills Raina. And now Marcus is dead, and Richard is the alpha male of the pack. Well, everything should be great, right? Well, it's not, because Richard is still mad that Anita slept with Jean-Claude. And I'm like, well, she's dating both of you guys. What's the big deal? But now this is the 
this is the book where everything kind of breaks and Richard kind of shuts her out of his life for a while and Anita only has Jean-Claude because Richard is too much of a boy scout he's too much of a he hates what he is he hasn't come to terms with it he still loves her but he can't reconcile with what she did and Richard is going to be angry for a very long time, so get used to it, because it only gets worse. And it's, it's, the, it's the book where Richard starts to really pull away from Anita. He starts to hide things. He starts to keep secrets. He starts to, you know, not share everything. And kind of, he wants her to be... The little woman, you know, in the in the white picket fence and baking apple pies and taking care of the kids. And she's not going to do that. So this is kind of the important book where they take this happy little family and they break it. And now we got to see what happens with the fallout. So, of course it was a fabulous book and I loved it. So I think you will too. Um, definitely read it. And keep up with it. So until then, keep reading. Bye.